purpose of the whole demo is really talking about uh, application visibility controls with our demos today. But when we talk about web security, it's really about either acceptable use and understanding what people are doing on the web or it's security. So today we talk about acceptable use. I just got a couple examples that we show. So the first example is streaming media, which is a big problem in customers today. So in this example, I have streaming media from a CNN site, which is a business ethical website. Totally fine to run it. I have no issues with it. But there are some websites like YouTube where I may not want streaming media to be allowed from a location. So in this case, I'm going to do some bandwidth controls for YouTube. It's going to be very choppy. It's going to be very unusable uh, for my user clientele. Here we see it's loading. It's going to queue up. You can think of the same thing with March Madness starting shortly, that somebody goes to watch a basketball game. I don't want to block it because it's just going to call the help desk, but instead it's just going to be unusable. Now, because we do have granular controls, there are going to be some parts of the company that I want to allow streaming media. So I'll switch over here to a different user, my Firefox user. Same video that's playing, but because of its role in the company, because of their user rights, they can watch video. So really just one way that I can identify streaming media as an application that it's either part of a good site or a bad site, and I can control it differently. Another great way of showing that is Facebook. So I'll switch over and load up Facebook here. I have two different Facebook users, and based on who they are in the organization, I can control how Facebook works as an application. So in this case, I, got, I have Ann Chandler. We allow her to use Facebook. She can post messages, do whatever uh, she likes. So she can say, hi, everyone, blah, 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 send a message. So we're okay with her using Facebook as part of her normal job. That's fine. She can load different applications, like this slide share. That's a business application. We're okay with that. But there is still going to be some things that we prefer that she doesn't do, like Farmville. We're going to say for her role in the business, there's just no reason for her to be playing Farmville, which is a game on Facebook. So we've actually went through and categorized there's 75,000 different applications on Facebook that we can categorize based on usage and we can control. Do you have access? Can you post? Can you read? Whatever that, that application works. We'll flip back over here to our more constrained user, who's Jason. He's a different user. He can read Facebook. He can see some of the messages that Ann wrote. But whenever he tries to post, he's in the read-only mode. So he can't post messages. He can't post his events. He can't share documents. It's all going to be in this confined read-only mode that he has. Last but not least, so that's a nice way of controlling Facebook, another example of an application. So another thing that we can do, often is important if you're in an educational market, if you're controlling a school, is content rating. So these sites like YouTube, Google, they'll rate their own content, and they'll recognize when it's adult content or safe content. So what we can do is, again, this YouTube user, or this, excuse me, this IE user, is a more restricted user. And when I do a search, I'll go ahead and type Super Bowl, that the search terms that come back, are we going to, we're going to depend that Google, in this case YouTube, is only going to show the safe content. So anything that's unsafe that would be adult or risky would not be shown. A little bit of lag from Google today. So we can see that it's locked into safety mode. There's no way for me to break out of it. So if I'm my school, I can protect my students that way, that the content coming back is going to be totally safe content. So switching over to our other screen, Often what I do when I'm talking to customers is, you know, this is a new concept of uh, application visibility control. So I can talk to a customer and say, okay, Mr. Customer, how is Facebook being used in your account? Or, or when it comes to March Madness, how much streaming media is going to happen? That's a very hard question to answer. So we have with Unbox Reporting, we can very quickly look and say, okay, I can understand what's going on with Facebook by network. So here I have different Facebook loads. As I scroll down, I can see I have some people chatting, some general things, some games. And I can drill in very quickly. Please. Apologize for that. I can drill in very quickly and understand who are the people using Facebook chat. I can understand that we have Jason and a doctor that's trying to do a lot of chat and the time of day that they're doing that chat. And I can even drill in more if I'm doing some more investigation. I can click on Jason and find out what time of day was he chatting? What was he doing on the web? So another great example of that. Now, all of the application controls I've been showing you, again, as I mentioned, is a signature-based update. So as we determine that there's new applications that are business-relevant for our customers, it's pushed down as a signature update every month. And we make it very simple to configure that. Uh, we just group them by the type of policies we have. So if I go into the access policy, I can see that Facebook's group, we were showing that policy before, that I have Facebook and I can restrict different items, messages that are posting. I can block their ability to post messages. I can scroll down and have the same controls for instant messages. 
be able to you know, block them from blocking uh, file transfers, etc. So a very interesting way, very simple for customers to say, I have this business use, we all understand what my acceptable usage is, how I'm supposed to be using the internet as an employee, very easy to create policy to do that. So the last part of my demo is take everything that we talked about here for the last five minutes about Facebook controls, controlling content, who can post, whatnot. I can also extend that to mobile devices like an iPhone. So here I have an iPhone that I'm a mobile user. I can bring up a VPN and I can ex uh, extend those same security controls out to a mobile device. So not only can I control Facebook, but we also have things like SaaS single sign-on. So there's services in the cloud, Google, WebEx, Salesforce, that I can tie my authentication into my Active Directory. So if I decide to terminate an employee or if they decide to leave my department, I can just turn off their rights within the application itself, turn off their rights in Active Directory, and they wouldn't have access. So here I just have a link on my phone. I can click on Google Docs, and it'll log me in. If I was on the right Wi-Fi network, it would log me in instantly to their, their Google network. So. That is the extent of our demo, and that's what we're doing with ABC at RSA this year.